Da, 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 da. Oh, sorry, sorry guys. Uh, well, this is the Forza Motorsport 3 new DLC, the Community Choice Pack. And today we're going to, well, going to test one of the new brands, which is DeLorean, or DeLorean Motor Company, DMC. And if you know the tune I've just sung out, yes it is, it's the only car they've ever made, the DMC-12. The DMC-12 uses a V6 actually, and it was one of the latest projects that John DeLorean did. If you don't know about John DeLorean, he was one of the most brilliant minds in the actual, in the actual motor world. If it wasn't for him, we, did, we couldn't have muscle cars. And why? Well, <laughs> that's obvious. The DeLorean DMC, it's from the DeLorean DMC and the DeLorean Motor Company, was made from one of Pontiac's and then later General Motors' most known and biggest engineers, John Zachary DeLorean. DeLorean was the maker after the designs of the you know, of the also known Pontiac GTO, the first Moscow car ever known, and the Pontiac Firebird. So that's right, and during the 1980s, well, at uh, the early 1980s, DeLorean left General Motors and then started to make the lovely DeLorean Motor Company. But also, and on 1982, it started to develop the DeLorean DMC with the Italian Design Studio. That's right. Giorgetto Giugiaro, the father of the of the Golf, was after this car. The car tour really, the, this car became really rare, especially after the release of the 1985 movie Back to the Future, which is, of course, what this made this car an icon, turning it, turning it into a time machine. But this car has a lot of things more real than being a fictional time machine in a movie. First of all, the engine is a 3-liter V6 PRB design engine. The PRB engine was, the, was named after the three companies that used it, which were Peugeot, Renault and Volvo. That's right, this engine was shared, that's why DeLorean decided to use it. Also, this car only develops 115 horsepower. It's a really not powerful car. But this made it a, but this kind of power made it a really nice car to drive. Oh my god, I think I'm reaching the 88 miles per hour. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. 88 miles per hour, that's right, it, it sounds better. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's, this is pretty weird, the car already beat the 88 miles per hour, even in kilometers per hour, which are 140, and I know that because I've seen the movie in Spanish and they say it's 100 miles per hour. Uh, another special thing about this car is that the reason, well this car was auto limited to 85 miles per hour so it couldn't reach the 88 miles per hour Doc said in the movie. In fact on Back to the Future 2 and 3 most of the de spare DeLoreans used for the movie, which were six, had V6 Porsche engines. That's right, they didn't have real engines, but they used Porsche engines so they could achieve the 18 miles, miles per hour more easily, and so made the epic, you know, thing of the movie could happen. That's right, the time travel. And also they made the change for the, instead of a nuclear engine, using a biomechanical engine or whatever it was called. Uh, oh yeah, using trash as a... This car is really an icon. Also, the body itself 
the bodywork is made in stainless steel which made an excuse for the on the script saying that thanks to the stainless steel body case of the car the it was more appropriate for time travel well I don't think most scientists will approve that nowadays but you know what I'm talking about this car is a real layer, it's a real icon but of course it has a really lousy acceleration and the, but the handling is pretty good and since it only has 150 uh, 50 horsepower it's really slow I mean it made severing in three minutes and I'm already beating the 88 miles per hour so so long suckers what the I didn't time travel! <laughs>